Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, what I think is a really cool sales funnel or sales pipeline. It's a 3D one here and it has uh, these gaps that I think just makes it really stand out. So let me show you how to do that both in Excel 2007-10 as well as 2013 because there are a few different steps. All right, so uh, what you want to do to create this chart is um, first we need to create our category. So the first one we need to do is um, the amount. And for the amount, we are going to have prospecting as our first one. Um, now to get that really cool look of that gap in between each one of the uh, data points for our sales funnel, we need to create a spacer. And uh, um, Spacer, there we go, and then we can create our next category. Let's do qualification. Now, each one of these may be different from uh, your sales uh, categories that they track their sales pipeline on. Then, for that uh, gap, once again, we need the spacer. Uh, we've got proposal, where I've worked before, and we had a spacer. Uh, negotiations would uh, negotiations would be the next category. The final spacer. Uh, and then anything that we have closed, one. So that's how we can check out our sales pipeline. Um, I'm just going to move some of these over here to the right and we'll redo that so we can kind of see our different categories. Now, um, I like to uh, make our spacer equal to a value that I can change on my own. So let's make the spacer over here and we're going to set a value of 40 as our space. And then what I want to do is I just want to make this equal to um, this uh, value in E1. And I'm going to make that an absolute value so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy it down throughout my chart. Uh, now we can put in our amounts. Let's say about 216 prospecting right now. We have 97 in qualifications. Uh, we have 30 in proposal. We have 46 in negotiations. And uh, we have 25 in closed one. Now, uh, looking at our final chart, let's go ahead and look back at those values. If we have negotiations, you notice it's higher than proposal um, and higher than closed one. It doesn't really fit. Uh, see how our negotiations, it's taller, but from the human eye, it's really hard for them to see that. So you want to be careful in using this to make sure you have labels there uh, because the representation of the value just doesn't really help uh, to the human eye. It's really hard to tell that that's a lot bigger uh, because proposal is a lot wider and closed one is a lot smaller. So uh, be careful when you're using these. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to make the chart. So what we want to do is we want to highlight the entire range. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon in Excel 2007 or Excel 2010. We're going to do a other chart selection and we're going to just do all chart types here. Now, once we get to our all chart types in 2007 and 2010, you're going to see this 100% stacked pyramid. Um, you will not see it in 2013, but I'll show you in a second on how to get there. But that's first what you want to do is you want to choose that chart type. Now, let me show you how you get to, uh, or well, first, before we do that, um, what you want to do is then go up to your design ribbon and do row switch row column and you will get to this point of the phase. So let me show you uh, in Excel 2013 how you get to this point. Okay, so here's how you uh, make this chart in 2013 for Excel. They've moved the uh, uh, pyramid type on you, so what you want to do is you want to highlight your categories and range of amounts, go up to your insert ribbon, and um, if you go to uh, any of the charts, you won't see it there. There's this little button in the corner that says See All Charts, and when you look at all charts, you'll notice there is no pyramid chart type anymore. Uh, what they've done is they've put it in the data series of columns. So you want to just choose a 3D 100% stacked column chart and click on OK. And uh, once here, you want to go up to your design ribbon and switch your rows or columns. And now you have a stacked column chart. Then right click on any one of the data series in there. Click on Format Data Series. And when you bring up your format data series menu, um, you will notice under the series options, you now have a chart type of full pyramid. That's where they put it is in the format data series of a column chart. 
click on Format Data Series, and now you have the uh, what you need to do, just like Excel 2000 and Excel 2010 and Excel 2007. All right, so uh, now that we've got our pyramid uh, set up, we need to turn it on its head, um, and we need to uh, fix it up and make it look a lot prettier. So first thing that we want to do is we want to reverse this vertical axis. So what you do is you click on the axis and then right click on the axis, do format axis, and from your format axis options, we want to do values in reverse order. Click on close, ah, it's starting to look like a pyramid now. Now we can go ahead and delete a lot of these things and uh, that are just going to fill up the space. First I deleted the legend, now this is the floor down here. I'm going to delete the floor. Uh, I'm going to delete these grid lines. I am going to delete the uh, vertical axis and I'm going to delete the horizontal axis. Okay, so now we're pretty close. Um, there's just a few things that we want to do. So these spacers uh, that are, you're seeing in there right now, and you see if I click on it, spacer is highlighted. Go ahead and select that and then hit Control-1 or right-click on it and uh, do Format Data Series. Uh, but we really want to format this point, so we want to do it. Keep clicking on it until you finally get that it says, when you right-click on it, Format Data Point. And then our fill options, we want to do a no fill option. And uh, you can leave this open and you can continue to select your different data points. So see that's data series, there's the data point. My menu has changed, let's do fill to no fill. And let's select the next one, which is the next spacer. See it says data series, so I want to select it twice. Now it's the data point to no fill. And our final one, I click on it twice, fill, no fill. All right, so uh, from here, you might want to just change some of your colors. Maybe you want to make the uh, smallest data point um, an actual uh, really dark green. Um, let's see, maybe you want to make uh, these different colors. You can just select that data point, do fill, do solid fill, and then go ahead and choose your color. Uh, so for instance, let's make the top one orange, the next one uh, fill. Oops, I got to select it twice to get the data point, solid fill. And uh, let's do a purple here, and let's make this third one um, a solid fill, and we will choose a color of more of a red type. And let's do, this is getting closer to green, because that's when we finally make all the money. Uh, so let's make that just sort of a light green, and then uh, fill, solid fill, and we'll make that a really bright green. Okay, so that's how to make a uh, really cool 3D um, sales funnel or sales pipeline chart. Now you can go in and change the spacer. If you don't like the spacer, you can make it bigger and get more space in there. You can make it smaller if you don't like that much space. Um, but I just like that 3D effect. Once again, it doesn't really represent the data um, completely accurately just because the volume of this piece does not look like it is more than the volume of that piece, even though the value is. Uh, so be careful when using it. But the final thing since we um, that I had said is we want to do is we want to add data labels to this. So let's go ahead and do uh, click on the chart, go up to format. I'm sorry, go up to uh, the layout menu, go to your data labels choice, click show, and then you want to come in here and uh, select each data label and you want to change it to category name and uh, ultimately our amount, um, I'm sorry, series name, which is prospecting, and that's 216. I wanna go ahead and delete this one. Uh, this data point, we're going to once again change it to the series name, and we're gonna delete our spacers in here. Any one of these 20s we wanna get rid of. They're sometimes hard to select. Uh, if they're hard to select, you can move the other one out of the way. Uh, that's one of those 20s, so we can delete it, delete that one. Uh, let's put in the series name, delete that one, do the series name, and final series name. Now, um, what I like to do after doing this is uh, I typically like to just select the data label and move it over to the right or left just so that it's just off the category that it represents. Uh, and uh, negotiations is 46. Oops, proposal I put down too far. We need to move it up. Just selecting and moving, dragging and dropping, and negotiations, and closed one. So there, now we have our final uh, 
Excel 2010 or 2013 sales funnel or sales pipeline with data labels and uh, it's in a 3D format with some space in there that makes it look kind of cool. Well, hopefully you like this uh, tutorial. Uh, if so, please make sure you subscribe to my video channel. Also head on over to the blog where you can get this file and try it yourself at excel-dashboardtemplates.com.